next on HBO. A college co-ed finds the courage to tell her story of date rape. In Life Story, No Visible Bruises, The Katie Costner Story. Next on HBO. Can't decide what to watch? It's more butter. Well, HBO suggests that you stay tuned. That's your seatbelt, folks. It's going to be a fun beer ride. Wayne's <laughs> Underworld. How would an animated character handle this? Stay tuned. Oh, Kevin, some old movie must be on cable. So don't let that remote get out of control. Tonight on HBO. That's entertainment. Oh, he's good. His name is Robin Hood, and he's a man of action. Why men can't jump. And a man of diction. Unlike some other Robin Hoods, I can speak with an English accent. And HBO First Look is taking dead aim on his story. Yeah! With a behind-the-scenes preview of Robin Hood, Men in Tights, a comedy of epic proportions from Mel Brooks. HBO First Look, Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Premieres Monday night at 10.30 on HBO. How'd you like to play on our team this summer? <laughs> but hey, you gotta keep your eye on the ball. A League of Their Own premieres Saturday night at 8 on HBO. HBO wants to know, what did you do on your vacation? Did you go someplace new? Take a look at that tiny little planet. It's not the size of your planet, it's how you use it. Find a little romance? <laughs> Meet new and exciting, uh, people? You're a cute little fella. If not, now you can. Just watch Mom and Dad Save the World. Premiere Sunday, August 8th on HBO. If you don't, you'll just have to see the slides. Tonight is worth waiting for on HBO. At 8, John Ritter runs from the devil and TV hell. In the comedy adventure, stay tuned. Then at 9.30, Leslie Nielsen stars in The Cops Spoop, The Naked Gun, from the files of Police Squad. And at 11, he's a male chauvinist trapped in a woman's body. Ellen Barkin stars in Switch. Stay tuned. Naked Gun and Switch. Television worth waiting for tonight on HBO. Best known for his driving rock and roll songs about small town rural American life, rocker John Mellencamp expands his horizons to the movies in his artistic endeavor, Falling from Grace. I introduce you to these ladies. Sure. We've got Mrs. Eglin. Hi, how are you? I listen to all your records. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Miss Pendergrass from over at B-Town. How are you? I'm glad you make the most beautiful music I ever heard. <laughs> I wish you love and happiness. Mellencamp stars as Bud Park, a successful country singer who returns to his small town for the annual family gathering, only to discover the tangled, sometimes incestuous relationships of the family and friends he left behind. Can I have your autograph? Sure. Welcome home. It's good to be home. You doing all right? Fine as usual. Did you make a million dollars this year yet? Well, I think I've spent a million dollars, Grandpa. See, any movie that, that I would be interested in doing would be dealing with the human condition. I paint the human condition. I've written songs my whole life about the human condition. So for me, it's all the same thing. I feel it's just different techniques. Guitars, paintbrushes, oil, film. Falling from Grace, which co-stars Mariel Hemingway and Kay Lenn, features an original screenplay by Pulitzer Prize winner Larry McMurtry. The movie marks Mellencamp's film debut both in front of and behind the camera. Yeah, I've directed uh, music videos uh, with uh, Jonathan Kaplan and uh, some other people that were like real directors. But I actually directed this film because nobody else wanted to do it, is what it boils down to. That's a 10 minute mag on there. We'll probably fill up that whole time with just us guys playing. Mellencamp says he approached directing the actors from a natural, instinctive point of view. I believe that uh, we act every day of our lives, everybody. And it's just because that thing's there, I go, oh no. But I've never really paid much attention to that thing. Uh, so I just tried to let other people know that it's just a damn camera, you know, if we just feel like it's not there. You just say the words. If you're going to smoke a cigarette, really smoke it. Don't act like you're smoking. I would say that to everybody. Please don't act. As for directing himself, Mellencamp says he drew on his many years of live performing experience. 
So I just kind of thought if I could make it real, as long as I felt honest in presentation. It's a lot like singing, acting for me, you know. When I'm on stage, uh, you know, in front of people, if I feel like I'm trying to sell the song, then I know I've gone too far and it looks phony. So that's how I kind of approached acting. There are other men, aren't there? Well, at this minute, all the slots are taken. Though I'm sure I can feel any that come up. Listen, young lady. I want you. I don't want to share you with anybody. John Mellencamp describes his commitment to making Falling from Grace as a labor of love, but dismisses any autobiographical connection to his starring character. Well, first of all, Bud Parks is a country singer. I'm in a rock band. Big difference. Mellencamp admits, however, there are some unavoidable similarities. Talking about autobiographical, I think if you were to put any singer in this role, there would be something autobiographical about it. You know, for American singer-songwriters right now, you know, you look out the window, there's a bunch of us guys just going, we don't dance, we don't rap, you know, and we either have to change, which I won't, they may, <laughs> but I won't, because I'm just going to keep doing what I do. Whether he's making music about small-town stories or depicting them on the big screen, John Mellencamp will always remain true to his down-home roots. Women loving women, men loving men. Are you born gay? Gee, am I gay? I must be sick. Why am I feeling this? Can you change it? Is it the genes? Is it the brain? Is it the gonad? Should you change it? Being gay is the greatest gift I was ever given. Why am I gay? Stories of coming out in America. An America Undercover exclusive premieres Tuesday, August 10th on HBO. What you learn will open your eyes. All we know so far is that the disease is caused by some unknown organism or organisms which we can't see or find. Imagine that something is out there. This is big. Tell all our number one people to drop whatever they're doing, get to work on this. Imagine no one can see it. I was meticulous in concealing his other life, even from me. Well, what are we chasing here? Some kind of doomsday bug? Imagine no one believes it. What can we prove? Zip. If we don't find that donor before he donates more blood and kills more people, there is nothing I can do. Imagine every warning was ignored. What could my case possibly have to do with AIDS? They didn't tell you? Are you saying that the public might not even be told what we just found out? Now imagine it's all true. HBO is proud to present one of the most awaited television events of the year. Matthew Modine. With Alan Alda, Phil Collins, Richard Gere, Angelica Houston, Steve Martin, Ian McKellen, Lily Tomlin, in the HBO original movie, and the band played on, coming in September, only on HBO. Party's over. They were from two different worlds. I'm, uh, Nick Masala. You, hot and spicy. <laughs> love brought them together and drove everyone they loved away. I love him. That's not a crime, is it? So you think I ain't good enough for your daughter, is that it? People stick to their own kind. You never told me that your family had trouble with black folks. Don't you know the rules? Mississippi Masala. Premieres Sunday, August 22nd on HBO. You know, I love movies, but I hate going out. The long lines. Oh, the traffic. Getting babysitters. Paying late fees. Uncomfortable seats. It'd be great not to have to leave your house to see a good movie.
HBO, now they've got great movies. Yeah, it's great to watch big blockbusters in bed. In my recline. On a couch. With the kids. Without having to go out and get it. When I take off my shoes, they stay off. There's no place like home to see a movie. Basically, the program is a way to both have a daycare center for preschoolers and a nursing home for incapacitated elders, and just putting the two generations together and seeing how they mix, and they seem to mix very well. We have you know, from 18 months old up to 100 years old and all ages in between, so it really is really is a family. It really is intergenerational. And the kids bring a real energy to the building. They're in the hallways, they're laughing, they're crying, they're screaming, and, um, and everybody really enjoys that. As soon as our children enter the building, the residents are just eager to hear the noise and the laughter, and they'll come down to our rooms just to visit us to make sure that, yes, the children are here. <laughs> The benefits to, to the elders are both psychological and physical. People who have gone in there very frail, who have lost a lot of weight because of their various illnesses, they say that they've gained weight, gained a whole new outlook on life now that they have this, in a way, this reason to live. We had some visions that things we wanted, wanted to do, and at that time we decided that we wanted childcare because overwhelmingly 90% or somewhere in that category of our employees were women and we felt the need to provide that service. I've never seen a, a piece like this in People magazine before and I think it's especially uh, valuable for people readers who, who need to know more about what kind of options there are out in the country for both daycare and elder care. One of the things that we've noticed is that she's not at all nervous about being around sick or elderly people. Um, it feels quite natural to her. We use a book here called Lifetimes, and that book stresses that everything is born, everything grows, and everything has to die. And we get into talking about plants and, and their life cycle and do the same thing with people. Hi, Catherine. Ashley? Do you remember Maynard? Oh, yes, I do. Maynard just came out of hibernation this oh. morning. <laughs> yeah. On the weekends, they comment often that it is so quiet around here and they just don't know what to do with themselves because the children aren't around for the, the vigor and vitality they need. I think here, you're enjoying life. Um, and you're and you're watching the enjoyment of life of these young kids and what better way is there to spend your time? Next on HBO, a college co-ed finds the courage to tell her story of date rape. In Life Stories, No Visible Bruises, the Katie Costner story. Next on HBO. A few things in life are guaranteed. For one, there's a new movie. Every Saturday night at 8 on HBO. Sound good. No repeats. Thank you! 52 weeks a year. Guaranteed big movie hits like A League of Their Own with Tom Hanks. Got him! Gina Davis and Madonna come up to bat. I haven't got ball players, I've got girls! Given the nature of things, it's really nice to have this guarantee. A new movie every Saturday night at 8 on HBO. Guaranteed. Two hundred dollars. Maybe no hand. Who else but HBO gives you this much Damon Wayne? Are you serious? More Damon than you can shake a stick at. You certainly have personality. More scam. Yeah. More action. You should try rocking back and forth. More love. You want to come? You got to do it. back. All you need is more money. Premieres Saturday, August 14th on HBO. Yo, check it out. What's up? Martin's back in the house. So y'all ready to have a good time? Yeah! And the house is HBO. Because <laughs> the jams are back. It's a whole new season. Oh my God. With a whole new crew. 
the baddest young comic from all over the world. Martin Lawrence MC. Yeah. Rusty Simmons Deaf Comedy Jam. New Jams, Fridays at midnight, only on HBO. It's about guns. Hey, I'm out to watch my back. I ain't got nobody to look out for me. It's about who's buying and who's selling. You gonna work in Mickey D's all your life? You wanna make the real money? And when things go down the way they go down. Be what? It's about how far you go to take care of your own. Yo, man, I'm looking for my girlfriend. If I were you, I'd go for the police. At least she'll be out of jail by the time the kid starts walking. Newcomers, Bokeem Woodbine. I got you, don't worry about nothing. Kia Joy Goodwin and Fredro. <laughs> In an HBO original movie. I ain't getting all this money anyway. Got a new job. You want to go on out and get yourself killed over that girl? Fine. But I'll be damned if I'm going to let you come up in here and get the rest of us killed. Forget about what you want to do. It's just like I got to be, man. You got to take care of yourself or die. On these streets, you do what you got to do. Strapped. Get ready, y'all. Premiere Saturday, August 21st on HBO. This is the year HBO breaks the network's hold on Emmy nominations. HBO has collected an historic 55 nominations, from comedy to documentary, from big events to original movies. Clearly, there's a new big kid in Emmy nominations, HBO. HBO's original movies shut all the networks out of the outstanding movie category with four of the five nominations. HBO has broken the laughs barrier with the best hour of comedy on television. 13 nominations for Dream On and The Larry Sanders Show. The first cable series ever to be nominated for Best Comedy or Drama Series. The 1993 Emmy Awards. This September, just you wait. Tonight is worth waiting for on HBO. At 8, John Ritter runs from the devil and TV hell. In the comedy adventure, stay tuned. Then at 9.30, Leslie Nielsen stars in the cop spoof, The Naked Gun, from the files of Police Squad. And at 11, he's a male chauvinist trapped in a woman's body. Ellen Barkin stars in Switch. Stay tuned. Naked Gun and Switch. Television worth waiting for tonight on HBO. The following program is intended for mature audiences.